On today's menu, Ankimo. Across the globe, what's delicious is questionable. Why would you eat that? Excuse me. Ankimo is monkfish liver, and it's cooked before you eat it. Well, that, that doesn't sound so. How oh, sweet sesame molasses! Ankimo is a delicacy in Japan. Described as rich and creamy, it's the foie gras of the East. Only instead of forcibly fattened waterfowl, it's made from the liver of naturally gluttonous sea monsters. There, I said it. They're fatties. They're ugly fatties. Monkfish, also called frogfish and sea devils, are bottom-dwelling HP Lovecraft rejects that use their fins to walk on the bottom of the sea and spend their time lurking in the sand waiting for something delicious to happen by, just like a sexual predator at the beach. But what happens if this potential prey is actually the same size as the monkfish? No problem! The monkfish comes equipped with a distensible stomach that allows it to swallow prey as large as itself. Thank God they're not people-sized. Ankimo has been a delicacy in Japan so long that no one really knows how it became a dish, though it's presumed it stems from an admirable waste-not-want-not philosophy that called for using as much of a catch as possible. And since the liver of a variety of animals is commonly eaten, it makes sense that one wouldn't toss out a liver that weighs over a pound, even if it did come out of this demonic hell serpent. <laughs> The trick to good Ankimo starts with using tweezers to remove any parasites that may be living in the liver of this less than discerning predator. Go ahead and remove the veins in the same manner as the parasites. Then soak it in cold water for two to three hours, changing the water every half hour. Pat dry, briefly marinate in sake, and then wrap tightly into a cylinder and steam. It is traditionally served sliced with scallions, grated daikon, and ponzu sauce. To protect its delicate flavor, it is never served with soy sauce. Hmm, yes, but why would you eat that? Well, it's a Japanese delicacy that, compared to, say, live octopus, is a relatively tame gastronomical adventure. Traditionally, Ankimo was enjoyed in the winter, but demand for it, and monkfish in general, has led to concerns of overfishing all over the world. In 2007, the British supermarket chain Asda banned selling monkfish over these concerns. Many environmental experts still cite overfishing and the habitat damage done by trawling, the main method of catching monkfish, as a reason to avoid the fish. But in 1999, a monkfish fishery management plan was implemented to rebuild the United States' depleted stocks of monkfish. As of 2008, the U.S. population has been declared rebuilt. But that's all complicated grown-up think piece stuff. Let's celebrate our fishery management plan and feed the office. Ready? Go. Oh, it looks really like gourmet. Mm -hmm. This looks too easy. Well, that's that's a much fancier presentation than you usually do, truly. Did this come from a restaurant? It did. Because it looks like it did. Well, I reassembled it after it jostled around in the back of my car. I'm really nervous. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, God, it really smells awful. Kind of smells like nothing. It's misleading, I believe. So sea smelling, like the bucket where you keep your scuba gear at home. It's so oceanic. Oh my god, that really smells. It smells fishy. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell bad. It smells like old fish. Ah, uh, it's fishy? Well, it looks kind of like a sausage. Mm -hmm. A little pate ish. But it's not as soft, it's not spreadable. It looks like it's probably some kind of intestinal thing, or perhaps a really expensive cat treat. It's fishy! Tiny bite. Can I hold my nose while I do it? <laughs> 
it all going in the hatch? Sure, if you wanted to. Okay, goodbye. Oh! What is that? Oh! Oh! Mm. How's it taste? Um, it's like gelatinous mm -hmm. and very fishy. It's not a fun texture. It tastes like sushi. Yeah, it tastes like cat food. Like a really expensive cat treat that you sliced up nicely. It's not awful. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shavering it now with the smallest oh, of bites. I, see, I told you. <laughs> oh, that was really not pleasant at all. What the f was that? I feel like I licked a dead fish. Yeah, it's like creamy toothpaste with salt water. Kind of just falls apart in my mouth. Uh, this is this is fine. This is nice. Um, I feel like I want it to have like a little bit more dimension or mm -hmm. saltiness or something. Oh my god, that is so fishy. What the f is that? It's weird. It's like fishy jello. I'm sad my piece is all gone now. Do you have... just like I need like a tongue brush. <laughs> toothpaste with salt, salty toothpaste. Okay. That's what I would equate it to. So you like it? That is good. Mm hmm I would eat that. Yeah, I don't I don't like it, but I don't hate it. I mean it's the texture is what kills it. It's nasty. It's not, <laughs> not something I would enjoy eating on a regular basis. And it does sort of taste like fish and liver. You know what it really, really, really reminds me of? Like the white fish balls that come in a jar at like Jewish oh. delis. And they taste just like that. And when I was a little kid, I maybe used to eat it a lot because they were always in the refrigerator. <laughs> uh, and I was a little fat kid, so I was like, I'm eating everything. It's very like, like it flakes apart, like how like eel breaks apart, mm -hmm. but it's soft. It's fine. I kind of want a little more. I think I like my food to be slightly less smooth than that. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a monkfish? I was expecting to eat something that was like maybe a little jelly ish, mm -hmm. but the dissolving cream is too far. Not for me. It's awful. It's, I, ugh, I will be happy if I go the rest of my <laughs> days without ever eating that again. It's delicious. Uh, so you like it? I do like it. You would order it? Yeah. Why okay. not? Um, suitable for cat consumption only, not for people. That's all for our show. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to Taste It if you haven't already. Donate a... Donate a... Don't eat that. Uh, donate to us on Patreon if you haven't already. We've got a lot of fun rewards. Georgia wallpapers. Uh, we've got a really cool Why Would You Eat That poster. And maybe I'll put a little teeny tiny poster right here uh, so that you can see it and be like, mm, I want that. Let me give you money. Um, nom, 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 nom. I'm not going to use this. I think the last one was the second one uh, ago. Insulate. All of these things could be in front of you.